thanks for joining me. If you watched the previous video that I did, I did a picture that I made for a couple that got married at my church. And I really, really, really loved the colors. I loved how they blended so well together that I wanted to do another one with the same color scheme, same order, but I decided I wanted to do it on a triptych. So this is three pieces of 10 by 20. So it'll end up being a 20 by 30 by the time I'm done with it. And I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of base coat. So I took what was left in this bottle and filled this one clear full and then made this one clear full. And then when I did that, I actually emptied uh, the Master's Touch titanium white bottle. So I decided, hey, that might be a really good bottle to mix some up in. And so I used the formula that I had and multiplied it by one and a half times. And when I did that, it filled it clear, clear, clear up to the top. And as I was shaking it, it kind of started spilling out a little bit. But I found out that the reason it was doing that is I didn't clean all of the ridges really well. So when I screwed it on, there was little gaps in there that the liquid was pouring out of. Fortunately, not a whole lot came out, but it was enough that I lowered the amounts that I'm going to use next time I do this. But this bottle holds a lot more than this one does, almost one and a half times as much. So it doesn't look like it would, but it really does. So I have plenty of white made up for the base coat. And the colors, again, that I'm going to be using are Metallic Green by Deco Art. And then Metallic Black by Artist Loft. Light Pink by Artist Loft. Fuchsia by Delta. This is a Ceram coat. Extreme Sheen Coral by Deco Art. Extreme Glitter Robin's Egg Blue by Folk Art. Teal by Golden. And topping it off is Yellow Medium by Master's Touch. So what I had done on the last one is I alternated colors and so one side had just four colors the other side had just four colors and then the middle part had all eight colors. And I kind of liked the way that that gives you some different effects also. And so I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all eight colors down right through here. And I'm going to have a swoop right there that's going to have four of the colors. And a swoop right there that's going to have the other four colors. So that way they'll it will all go well together because this will have all of the colors but then you'll have a little bit of variances on the two ends also so i'm going to go ahead and flood my canvases and i'll be right back
All right, all of the canvases are flooded. The bubbles are torched. So let's get pouring. Okay, so I wanted to come here, kind of do a little And then let's see, this one is going to be the one that I bring up this way. Do I want to come from here and swoop up or here and swoop up? Um, I think I want to do it right about here so that there's a little bit on that. Hopefully it turns out good. All right. So same with this. Whoop. Oh my. Made a little bit of mess. Alright. Not to worry. We'll just dab it off like that. just a little bit more white there to push that off of the side. Yes, I got a little bit rambunctious with that. I hope I'm putting enough color down. I don't want to put too much, but I also don't want to have not enough that it's not going to blow out right. Um, never really done a canvas this big, so I'm not sure. Let's see, this one goes here. but not least beautiful bright yellow all right so I'm gonna move these out of the way I don't know that they would be in the way necessarily but I would just assume that they're completely moved. Then I don't have to worry about it when I'm trying to blow out. All right, torch it one more time. I hope there's enough color right here. I think it'll be all right.
my biggest thing is making sure I don't fit my cord in the pink wing. That would be a sad, sad day. Okay, so I am going to start. Huh. Man, I've got a lot of space here. Ah. Uh, didn't quite do it the way I wanted to, but it's all right. It's all right. I think I'm going to start right here. Kind of try to pull some of this, maybe that way. Or do I want to start right here? Maybe I'll start right in here. All right.
Wow. That is gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna take the world's smallest leaf blower and try to work just a little bit of this so that this is more solid like this part is because everything else is gonna line up except for right there also. And if I can't get that part lined up, that's okay. As I was trying to blow it back a little bit, it was actually blowing this off the side. You can probably see it. If not, you'll see it when I bring you down. So it was kind of messing it up. So that's why I stopped. But I might try to use this and see if I can get it just a little bit better. Okay, so the problem when you have the white that's between two of them, it just doesn't really want to close and let the colors go on it. I have noticed that when other people have been um, trying to fix things too, it just creates a, a little gap there. So, you know, I guess it's, it's not a terrible gap. So, it's not like it's really bad to have that there. I don't know if I want to try to bring some of this into this space. Maybe I'll leave it like it is because it, you know, this side has that space too, so I think it'll be all right. I like the way that there is some extra space here, but there's not a whole lot, but it still gives your eyes some place to rest and there's so much going on in all of the rest of this. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I love these colors. I love the way that they play off of each other and the cells and the colors that are in these cells is just phenomenal. So I'm going to touch up my edges and then I'm going to bring you down for a close up this is gorgeous. Be back in a minute. Well, here it is. Love these cells. Oh, they're so, so gorgeous. I don't know if I had too much white on the canvas or if I didn't get it mixed up quite the right consistency, but it started swallowing up some of the colors. I mean, you can see like right there and stuff. I mean, it's still pretty, but I don't know why it did that for sure. So I left the edges 
like that because it's a continuation from this one and so then you can see that it is and I think it's really pretty doing it that way so it just ties it all in together more I think so I love the colors just like there's purple in here now and there was no purple in my colors so I love how they interact with each other and mix and then you see the colors themselves individually but then you also see other colors formed that just weren't there really do love how these two ends came out that have four colors each because it creates a little bit more of a variance but it still goes perfectly with the rest of the painting there's going to be so much sparkle to this it's going to be gorgeous and it will get KS resin like my other pieces do once it's dried okay I'm gonna shut the overhead lights off and turn the flash on on my camera now you can see that sparkle oh look at that ah absolutely gorgeous This whole thing is going to be like that. Makes it a lot easier to see this. It's completely dark outside. It's been raining pretty much all day here today so it got dark faster than it normally does I just love how you'll have certain colors and they just start weaving their way through the other ones I think that's one of my favorite things about using Dutch pour is because it doesn't matter how many times you lay the same painting the same colors down you just lay them in the same exact order in the same exact way even and you're gonna come up with totally different paintings and the next thing that I'm going to be doing is a matching coaster set to this so looking forward to that too that's gonna to be so fun my biggest thing to remember when I'm doing coasters especially since I'm gonna be using eight colors is to not use too much color See even that part that the white kind of took over you still see the sparkly in it I love this yellow just going right through there it's kind of amazing because in the parts that I've already shown you before there's a little bit of yellow here and there but not so much and then here's where you just get it so and then this pink here oh I love that now I wasn't sure at first when I got that light pink but that light pink with the fuchsia they go well together 
they go so well together. I just can't even really find a favorite spot. Because I just love it all so much. I mean, the cells are so cool. You know, they just pop up different colors all right well there you have it and I did make sure when I leveled it that it was leveled for me to space them apart like that so they could dry well and then they were still pretty much level when I had them together so you always want to make sure you do that because it'd be so sad to do this and then have it all be pulled off well, let me know what you think in the comments. If you're a current subscriber, thank you so much for supporting me. And if you haven't yet, I would love for you to subscribe. If you liked this, please hit the like button. All right, that's all for now. Catch you later. God bless. So if you're interested in this, this piece is for sale. Shoot me an email at TammyVonArt at gmail.com. The link is also down in the description. All right, that's all I got for now. Talk to you later. God bless. All right, I'm shooting a quick video because I want to see what this actually will look like on a video for this. So I guess I can get in pretty close. And you can see a lot of the detail. Thing is, a lot of that is sparkly and it shows the canvas detail a lot more than it does the sparkle. But... Maybe you can tell it's both. I don't know. I think I will pause this also after I do a little bit of it and turn the overheads off and see. Of course, it's also dried, so you're seeing the dried results, not the wet results. It is shiny, the light on it, so well, I guess you can see some of the sparkle in it too. You can't in the photos, which really sucks. I don't know if I'm just not doing them right or if they just don't pick that up very well. Alright, well, I think I'm going to like the videos though. Look, I can get really close and it still keeps the color more accurate. The other ones didn't. Now, so you can see some of the sparkle in that. Okay, I'm going to pause this now so that I can turn the overhead lights off. Alright, and I'm going to do the same areas that I did before, just because that way we can see the difference of the same parts. So you can see the sparkles in the runoff. But up here, I mean, you're mostly seeing the canvas detail, so I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. I think once it's resined, though, 
you'll be able to see on the video better than you can in the pictures. I mean, you can tell there's, there's some sparkle there. And that is really, really shimmering right through there. It's a lot of shine and glisten. So I think this is going to take really good videos, I hope. Since that's one of the main reasons I bought this specific camera, or phone I mean, was for the camera. Yeah, I think you're going to be able to tell, Let's see, I'm just like in there can't really move it because it's stuck to the table. Kind of run too well. So let's see if I can get a good view of it. Alright, well, that is all really sparkly. You can kind of tell. Alright, that's all.